Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. A little chilly out this morning, like 31 degrees, right week before Thanksgiving. Hope everybody is well. Hey, I'm Paul Apollonia. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay, probably about 10 items that I recently sold on eBay with some tips and tricks. And before I forget, I want to thank you guys again. I know I'm going a little crazy with this, but I really appreciate you guys. 920 subscribers. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like. And please like this video. Appreciate and love every one of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Trying to hit that... 1,000 mark doesn't mean I'm going to stop after that. If you're trying to hit that 1,000 mark, it would really mean a lot to me. All right, so let's uh, get back to this. I'm Paul Apollonia again. I've been uh, selling on eBay for 21 years. I looked it up the other day, maybe 22. Uh, took it seriously about 16 years ago by doing some consignment for a, a dear friend of mine. It had a lot of stuff to get rid of. He still does. Um, and just kind of fell in love with consignment. It's kind of my thing. It's not for everybody. Um like everything, some people love it, like garage selling. Some people like garage selling, thrifting. Other people like wholesaling, whatever. You can go down so many avenues with reselling. It's like insane. But it works for me. I love working with people. A lot of time spent up front. Like I think there's time spent with anything you're doing. In other words, whether it's up front with doing consignment, dealing people, or going garage selling, or whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I don't tell people what to do or what to sell. Um but I like consignment. I also do a lot of parting out of appliances, which I also love. Kind of specialize in dishwashers lately. Seems like that's what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> a lot of money in parts, especially now with the economy kind of where it's at. I don't know where it's going, but uh, people are trying to save money. So I do a lot of parting out of dishwashers. There's a course on my teachable site. I'm parting out a dishwasher. Check that out. The link is below. I'll be running some sales. If you're interested, just send me a message and I'll give you a special deal on that. And uh, I also run the uh, Raleigh eBay meetup group. We meet second Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm in North Carolina. Um, and it's a paid meetup, $5 uh, to get in. And it, we get about 10 to 20 people, sometimes more, from all over the place. Uh, people ask me, when am I going to make this a live event again? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting more and more people from out of the area, and it's going to be a little difficult to find a live venue, find a live venue, find a find a place, and set up a computer with a Zoom thing at the same time. But I don't know. We'll see about that. What else? I'm trying to think. That's about it. So let's get to the, let's get the show on the road. Shrink this down so you don't see my ugly mug anymore. My dog is prowling around, so you'll hear clicking and all sorts of weird things from him. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you hopefully where I got the item, <laughs> uh, what I paid for it, and uh, what I made from it, and, and we'll go from there. Um, again, I've made two videos, maybe even three videos on this. Tell everyone what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing with uh, online selling, whether you're selling used parts, picking through trash. <laughs> buying stuff, uh, what they call resale arbitrage, where you go um, into like stores like uh, big box stores and buy new stuff and resell them on eBay, Amazon, whether you're selling on Amazon, doing FBA, books, clothing, widgets, whatever. Tell everybody what you're doing. People will give you things. People will go, hey, wait, I know this guy that will take this. Um, I get a lot of my inventory for free, like a lot of it. Sometimes I take stuff as a goodwill gesture just to take everything and pick through it myself. It's, you know, I run by the dump and go through it there and stuff like that. But tell everybody what you're doing because here's an example. Um, someone was getting rid of about 40 of these different and assorted power uh, cords for Chromebooks and laptops and stuff like that. Uh, I've probably I've already calculated this out. I've made three hundred dollars from selling these these already. Most of the time, people buy them in onesies. Uh, a lot of times, people buy multiples, two, three, four, five. Had one guy buy ten of them. Um, so it works out for me. Uh, took me probably about ten minutes to create this listing, maybe five. I can't remember. Yes, your listings will go faster once you get more experience with listing. Really, really quick. 
go over what I do for my listings. All my um, my title is uh, keyword driven. No, no, I'm going to say there's no ands or special characters, and there is no ands or special characters in there. You will see. I'm telling you what eBay best practices are. You'll go in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do all this preaching about what to do, and you're going to go and see listings that have all the things I said not to do, and they're selling a million of them. Um, kind of weird, I know. But I'm just going about what eBay is doing with best practices. White background is very important, at least for your first picture. Um, eBay loves white backgrounds, and Google Shopping loves white backgrounds. They upload all their listings up to Google Shopping every day night or whatever, every 24 hours, so you'll have two venues to sell your stuff on. Uh, my pricing is kind of what they're going for. Sometimes I even price them a little higher. You'd be surprised at what they sell for. I normally don't do free shipping unless I look at the solds and I see, <clears throat> like, most of them are free shipping, so I just add the shipping into the cost of the item. This is going out first class, so shipping really isn't that much. Even if I had a return and I'd eat the shipping, it wouldn't kill me. So um, that's not that bad. And I normally do, when I do my shipping, if I'm not doing free shipping, I usually set, well, I don't have it set up. I'll show you later on in one of the other listings, but I'll talk about that now. Um, I usually have it set up as economy shipping because that gives me every option. If I'm not shipping first class, that gives me every option that, eBay offers, post office, FedEx, UPS. I can pick either one of those. If I were to pick priority uh, post office, I'd really have to ship it out priority to be uh, within eBay's uh, rules. And if there was a problem shipping, I don't know if I would be able to get help from eBay, but that's what I do. Um, some people don't like that because the buyer sees seven to 10 day delivery time. I'm shipping about 95% of my stuff, 90% of my stuff, priority, post office, or ground, either UPS or FedEx. Make sure you're shipping through eBay. You get great discounts. The coolest thing about ship, one of the coolest things when you use eBay is your first class. You take that same item to the post office. It's only going to go, it, it, first class goes up to 13 ounces. Do it through eBay, it goes up to one pound, 15 ounces, whatever. So remember that. That's very important. Also, remember that your post office understands that, too. I tell that story all the time. Shipped out a bunch of stuff at a different post office, first class, and I came home the next day, and they were all at my front door saying, can't ship because the weight was too high. So I had to put just reprinted labels for them and brought them to my post office, and it went through with no problem. Uh, let's go down here. When I'm selling something used, I always use the condition description up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. In your listing, kind of pops right out to people when they're looking at the item, not responsible for item fitting, which I mean, it's, but people have, need to look at that stuff. Uh, short and sweet with my descriptions. I basically copy the, real quick before I get to the specific specifics. I do a copy and paste of the title, and I just copy and paste the condition descriptions down here. Pretty simple and sweet. Just please review all photos, description, and et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Item specifics, very, 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 very important. These play a part in when you're doing your eBay. When you're looking on eBay and you see all that stuff on the left-hand side, um, with search criteria, use, new, um, color, whatever, this is where this, this is what eBay is looking at in your listings when people are picking that stuff. Very important to use these. Don't, if you see stuff in here that doesn't pertain to your item, don't put NA, don't put no, don't put, leave it blank. Because it's going to throw off your, um, your searches for your item. Uh, there are some people that like to do the four. Like, for example, for Lenovo, some people do Lenovo. I've heard different things that that's what eBay wants to see is for certain situations like that. Just see what other people are doing with it. It's kind of weird. Sometimes I do the four. Sometimes I don't. Um, I think that's a default value in the UPC. Usually I would leave that blank, but I guess that's the default. This may have been just a, a, a cell similar I used. And sometimes I miss things. Even I do. Warranties. None. Okay. Yeah, so just put all your pertinent information in there. Uh, shipping, real quick. I use Global Shipping Program. eBay is making big changes to their international shipping program. They're going to combine 
everything from what I'm hearing, I just heard this the other day on one of their uh, holiday things they had online. They're going to combine everything, uh, global shipping, international shipping into one thing where it's going to get shipped out to different locations. But I'm using global shipping program real quick. How that works is I ship it to their site in Kentucky. Once they get it, it's got to be packed properly. Postures have got to be right. Once they get it, they're going to open it up probably, and everything's there. They'll send you an email that says, we got the item. You're free and clear. You're out of the picture. Lost, stolen, broken. You will get refunded, and eBay will get refunded. Knock on wood. I won't knock on my desk because my dog will start barking. I really, I don't think I've ever had a return or even a request for return from a uh, global shipping uh, shipment. Yes, I know doing internationally myself has gotten a lot easier. I just haven't messed with it. I know years ago I did it, and it was a total pain in the neck, and I haven't had any problems with global shipping, GSP, they call it. Uh, some people claim that the uh, buyers charge too much in taxes and stuff. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> it just works for me. It's easy, it's simple, it's quick. Um, oh, there it is. Economy shipping. So right there, that's what I was talking about before. But the shipping, my, th my, my return is 30 days, which is the lowest uh, return period. Okay, next item. Bathroom tiles. I don't know why this is not scrolling up. But it's not. Uh, these are insanely profitable if you can find them. Quick story, this my father-in-law was a bath and kitchen guy way back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And he has a bunch of these, had a bunch of these under his house. Didn't know what to do with them. I was up there one day, and I said, can I take these? He said, sure. These are what they call long tail sales. We're going to be in your eBay store, your eBay listings for a long time, even up to a year. But they do sell. And they sell really, really well sometimes. Uh, I usually sell multiples of these, 8, 9, 10 at a time. I have it set up as discounted if you buy more than uh, two or three. Um, I think this one, this guy bought nine of them. So I walked away with about $82 in my pocket, maybe $79 in my pocket. Honestly, I forgot. <laughs> Probably like $73 after shipping. But hey, got it for nothing. Again, a free item. Got a lot of them, and they do sell, but they take a while to sell. I ship these out. If they're individual, I'll ship them out first class, wrap them, and uh, put them in a little padded envelope and ship it out that way. Yes, people do buy one at a time, but most of the time they buy multiples because they're hard to find. These are new. I have seen people sell used ones. I don't know where to get used ones. I guess you'd have to get with contractors. Maybe uh, Habitat for Humanity may have some. I don't know. I need to look into that. Well, this is definitely one of those kind of a loss leader if you're selling one at a time, but this is definitely an item I'd want to keep in my in my store, in my inventory, because it does bring people into my store. Um, you know, pretty easy to list. All pictures done on my phone. This one I did take pictures of the measurements. Demand the um the name and everything else like that. So, yes, those are uh, big ticket items, big, big dollar items if they sell multiples. Uh, this was a consignment item. Gentleman that used to be a Hunter fan and uh, water pick salesman way back 20 years ago. Met him through another consignment person. Um, if your competitors are friendly, please make friends with your competitors. They will send you business, send them business, work with them, meet with them every once in a while. There's more, <laughs> there's more fish in the sea for everybody. Um, this guy sent me this guy. He doesn't deal with, when I say low end, uh, he does high end estate sales stuff. Um, jewelry, silver, stuff like that. He doesn't deal with the, the lower stuff. So he sends me a lot of that stuff. Um, I've sold uh, air purifiers for a couple hundred bucks for this guy. I normally don't take low stuff like this under consignment anymore because it's just not worth my time. But in this situation, this guy, I've made a lot of money off of this guy, so I just helped him out. He's got probably a half a garage full of stuff. I haven't heard from him in a long time. He may have gotten rid of the rest of his stuff. I don't know. Sometimes with consignment, you just lose contact with people. Uh, they, unfortunately, sometimes they pass on. Sometimes they move away. My favorites are 
the phone call you get probably about two or three months into the whole consignment thing. You've sent them money and everything's flowing really good. And they're like, you know what? I'm just tired of dealing with this. Just keep everything else you have and don't worry about it. Cool. That works for me. Um, so I made half of this 50, 50%. It went out, uh, shipped without the box. Oh no, it did go in the box. I'm sorry. Yes. This was with the box. There was another one. Didn't go with the box. There was a whole ordeal a couple months ago that the person canceled the sale on because they wanted the original box. I just, it just shipping was a fortune. That was my fault. This go out. This did go, this did go out with in the original box. I did not slap a label on the original box and ship it out that way. I wrapped the box in cardboard um, and taped it all up and shipped it out that way. Some people are real anal with the boxes. They like the original box. They don't want the original box all marked up and scuffed up in shipping. So I always wrap it in cardboard. It did go out for under nineteen dollars. So I think it went to Pennsylvania. Um, most of my shipping I do flat rate. I'm pretty good at guessing at the shipping. What do you do if your shipping is less than what you quoted? Um, I keep the difference. What do you do if your shipping is more than what you quoted? I kind of lose the difference. <laughs> but um, it works for me. I've been pretty good at it. I probably should do calculator shipping on a lot of this stuff. But um, I'd have to box it and everything and stuff like that. And I just don't feel like doing that. Uh, dishwasher parts. Dishwasher racks do sell. They take up room. Lots of room in your inventory. Again, dishwasher course on Teachable. Check out that link below. If you're interested, um, I show you what parts to sell, what parts not to go after. The whole thing with parting out something is keep track of your time. You don't want to spend all day parting out something and you're going to make not that much money. Uh, like I said, dishwasher parts sell. Certain ones sell really well. Boshes sell really well. Not every Bosch dishwasher part will sell great. Sorry, I got a frog on my throat today. Um, <clears throat> most will. Um, racks will sell. Just make sure they're rust-free. I do sell them sometimes with a little rust on them, but it, it, it's kind of questionable, and I really hate doing that. And you got to be really, really clear in your listing. Hey, please read. Um, there's rust. There's pictures. Better off just to sell them without any rust. Uh, $49. Uh, this was calculated shipping I did, which I've moved to because I know the size. The exact size is 22, 22 by 9. And it's going to come in between 9 and 14 pounds. So I put it at like 22, 22, 9 at like 14 pounds. Make a few bucks on it. Usually costs me. If it's not going to the West Coast, which this one went to the West Coast, um, it usually costs me about right around nineteen dollars to ship these out anywhere. Sorry, my phone went off. I thought I had that on mute. Um, how do I ship these? I got a video on how I ship these, but I'll tell you real quick. I get a box from uh, a medium-sized box from uh, a big box store, Lowe's, or uh, Home Depot. Flip it inside. I uh, cut it. Cut it open. Flip it inside out. Uh, wrap it like a gift, tuck the ends in, and tape the living heck out of it. And I only had one of the wheels break on me in all the years I've been shipping these. So there is money in these parts. Again, make sure you put all the item specifics in there. Very, very, very important to do that. There's a dog walking by. My dog didn't bark. Okay, cool. Um, this is another consignment item. Uh, this is kind of an item that I lost um, track of this person. I don't know what happened. Um, what do I do then? I kind of keep the money for a while in another account and see what happens, if I can find them or if they call me up. And if not, then I just I, I just keep the money and, and, and deal with it if they call me up years later. But, you know, whatever. Uh, this actually was sitting around for a while before I listed it. I had a lot of inventory, and I kind of forgot about it. And it sold pretty quick. sold in about a week. Um, I know nothing about this stuff. I just found a cell similar and I looked it up on Google and I got all the information from Google and what, um, what I could find on eBay. Um, I did add in certain notes here. These are not searchable. I'm sorry. My phone is vibrating. Um, these are like, that's not searchable. It's just item notes. It says we'll need additional cleaning. I put that down somewhere from you. So people know. What's going on? Uh, probably made 
Oh, 50 percent of that if it's consignment. So it's at like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, which is fine. It I just packed it in a in a box with lots of wrapping uh, foam I got from a furniture store dumpster. Another dishwasher rack. I'm telling you, dishwasher rack sell. You can make. Oh, here's one. Please read. Minor rust. Last three photos. Same down here. Minor rust, last three photos. So let's see the rust on these on these photos. This sold. The guy was totally thrilled with it. Still, my mug is too big. Okay, so let's go. I try and take pictures of all the sides and everything. The wheels, the set of wheels, what kind of wheels you're getting. There you go. There's a picture of the rust. And the guy got it, and he sent me feedback saying the rust was not nearly as bad as I made it sound. So that was good. Did really well with that. There's somebody's dog running around. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. All right, here it is. Here is the Mammer Jammer sale <clears throat> of the month. <clears throat> Got these a while ago, actually. And I didn't list them for some reason. I have no idea why I didn't list them. These are way out of my wheelhouse, way, way out of my wheelhouse. Um, I've never sold any uh, Tiffany or let alone any kind of uh, wine glasses or anything. So I had to do a lot of research on these. Ton of research on these. But um, I sold them. Sold them in about a week and a half. Couldn't believe Sorry if I get getting distracted. There's like this dog running around and people are chasing it. But I think they got them now. It's, I'm not on a busy street. It's just they think they got them now. Okay, cool. <laughs> person bought them, asked a lot of questions, which was totally fine because I wanted to make sure the sale was going to go through. They bought both of them uh, for 200 and change. I forget. I was running a, is this one where I offered a discount for the second one? I forget. Thrilled. This was a consignment item. This was a consignment item from a person that I'll be quite honest with you. I need to research and find out who gave me these sometimes. <laughs> It was through a organizer, which if you're doing consignment or even if you're not doing consignment, get friendly with organizers in your area. And if you great way to do consignment or a great way to go buy um, lots of stuff from them. If you don't want to do consignment, just buy the stuff outright. Um, I, I get a lot of business from organizers, too. I need to call this woman to keep on forgetting. But this was a great sale. If we can find a person, I've made over $100 on this. If not, I've cleared two hundred dollars on these two uh, Tiffany things. She asked a lot of questions. She wanted to know what the diameter of the the um, hang on a second the diameter of the uh, the top part of the glass was a goblin, whatever they call it. I did that. She wanted specific measurements and stuff like that. She obviously was a collector of these and wanted them really, really bad, and was messaging me all the time. I had trouble taking the. I'm not really impressed with my pictures I took. I did the best I could with the lighting I had. Uh, I did a back black background. First one was white. Black showed off a little bit better. Made sure I took a picture of the edges. There were no cracks, no chips, no nothing. They even still had the label on them, which I think sold them because it had the label on it. Underneath. Uh, blurry picture there. Not a great picture there. <laughs> Boy, not great pictures here. Uh, that's a better picture. I think it was better in black. What do you think? I think it should have stuck with the back black background for the rest of the pictures, except for the first one, because I wanted to do white. If you... Uh, you can only do one, do the first one in white. But those are those pictures. Sorry about that. That dog was distracting the heck out of me. Okay. Should have stopped the video. Um, <clears throat> another uh, 
tiles that I sold. This was probably all within the same week, if not the same two week period. This guy, I think, bought 10 of these. So I made uh, 90 plus dollars in my pocket um, after the sale. Wait, no, 85 or 84 dollars for a free item. So I don't get too much into that. You saw me go into the tiles before. Another dishwasher part. Uh, these do sell pretty good. Um, pretty quickly, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a week you'll sell these. Just price them right. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, this is like kind of like an electronic item. You don't really know if it works or not. How do you know if the electronics work in a dishwasher? I don't. I kind of base it on what the person is giving away the dishwasher is telling me. If they say it's leaking, well, then then I'm assuming that everything else works in it. All the electronic components work in it. If they say it's missing a cycle or it's not rinsing right or it's not drying right or whatever, one of those with the operation of the dishwasher, then I don't sell the con I definitely don't sell the control board. Um, but if they tell me everything is working on it, I sell the stuff. And if there's a problem with it, I just refund the person. Yes, I know there's scammers out there. Yes, I, I, I know all about that. Um, I've been pretty lucky with all that. And I show you what to look for, again, <laughs> with the dishwasher course, um, as far as the capacitors, if they're split or broken or swollen and stuff like that. There are ways of testing this stuff. I'll be honest with you. I just don't have time and I really don't want to be sitting there testing stuff. Um, I've never really had an issue selling any of these dispensers. These are very easy to remove from the dishwasher. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to take you maybe an hour to remove all the uh, high earning parts from the dishwasher. So this was good free. I got it free again. So made good money on this. Uh, went out First, write it again, because I went through eBay, I used first class, it went right out at 15 ounces, which is first class when you go through eBay, um, which is great. So I made some money on shipping, probably made about $22 on that item there, if not more. Uh, this was an item, someone gave me a generator, yes, a um, 7,000 watt generator. Uh, I used to do small engine repair, so I still have people that give me things from that venue which i really don't repair stuff anymore i just part it out even if you give me something running i don't even mess with it this generator looks like it may have run if i would have just put gas in it but i just didn't want to mess with it at all i don't know if the generator part worked or not i just don't have time so i parted a few parts i took the gas tank off didn't sell that yet it's listed but i don't know why it didn't sell they usually sell pretty good and some other little parts carburetor parts and air filter air cleaner covers and stuff this sold within about two weeks. I took a best offer on it. I probably should not have. He offered me $25 plus shipping. Knew they were going for $19, but this was an older one, really thick metal, uh, built to last, not like the new ones were all plastic inside. Probably should have did a counter offer for maybe 30, but I just wanted it out of here. Just wanted to say, oh, I'm trying to get into inventory as the enemy. Because my house is full of stuff. And I sold it for 25 He was thrilled with it and happy with it. So there is parts. Now, there is money in these parts. When you're selling these, it's only three or four. Let me show you. There's only four bolts you're going to take off or nuts. It's going to slide off. All pictures done on my cell phone. Uh, these things, when you're selling one of these, if you're going to get into this, always pull the cord out a little bit. So these things are sticking out. They, they call these dogs. Yes, like your dog you have at home, pet dog. Um, don't know why. Make sure they're sticking out as far as they can go out. People like to see that working. I also have usually a very blurry picture of the cord. No, I usually have a picture of the cord. No wonder why the guy asked me how the cord was. Okay. <laughs> um, and I always try and take a picture of the, uh, the model number uh, tag on the last picture of the um, of what I took it off of. So there you go. There's the engine and everything like that. Well, that is it, my friends. I know it took probably longer than it should have. I'm sorry about that. That kind of dog kind of distracted me, but everything is good. They got him. They threw him in the car and he's home. <laughs> 
All right, my friends. So everybody is, uh, hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Um, stay warm. Don't eat a lot of turkey and uh, enjoy your family. All right, my friends. You have a good day. Thanks for watching.